Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to take a quick look at the new update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 1.5.3. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. We're going to take a look at the new update for Topaz Photo AI version 1.5.3. This will be a shorter video because there hasn't been a lot of significant changes in this update, but let's take a look at it. Here are the changes and the fixes. In subject, face selection should now be faster and has updated logic. Added support for Sony ILCE 6700. They added an open images button to the bottom bar. Fixed resolution not sticking after changing images. They fixed resolution changes getting reset when opening crop. Resolution now supports a wider range of values. Resolution now calculates inches and centimeters separately, and they updated lens fun. So those are all the changes and fixes. A new addition to Topaz Photo AI is this open images button. Now this is something we do need. You know, before you could open up your thumbnails here and you could click on the three dots and you could open images here. But now with this open images button, just click on it. It's going to be a lot quicker. And then that opens up your file browser. And then you just point your browser to wherever your images are at. And then you can load them up. I'm just going to click cancel. But that's a nice new feature, open images. I think we'll all appreciate that one. Not a lot to show you today, but I have this image. It's a very small image that I started out in Firefly. And then I brought it into Photoshop beta and added some more to it with uh, generative fill generative expand and so on and it's a very small image as you can see right now this is the actual size of the image it's 1933 pixels by 1276 so it's very small well how big of a print could i make from this pixel size well if you click this drop down here where it says px for pixels or right here under height where it says px for pixels either one will work Click the drop down. Now you have your choice of inches or centimeters. If you click on inches, you can see that I have this set up for 300 pixels per inch. Now you could change this to any amount that you would like, but for printing, I always like to use at least 300 pixels per inch, but I could only get roughly a six by four print out of there, which is small. You know, what if I wanted to make a nice big print? The size of the image is right now just wouldn't cut it. I would need to go bigger. And this is where like Topaz Photo AI comes in as well as Topaz Gigapixel AI for upsizing. I don't think there's any other products on the market that can do the job that these can to upsize images. So if you like to generate images in like Mid Journey or Firefly or Photoshop using generative fill, then a product like Topaz Photo AI or Topaz Gigapixel AI would be perfect for you to upsize your images. Now, right now I'm at 1X. So I want to make this image larger. So I want to make a decent sized print. So if I go to 2X, you can see now I can make up to a 12 roughly by 8 print. But if I go to 4X, I can now make a 25 by 17 inch print. And that would be an ideal size for me. So that is pretty cool. But I like the fact that you can change this to inches. Or if you wanted to see what that was in centimeters, click on centimeters. And now we can see that would be 118.11 pixels per centimeter. But for inches, which is one I'm most interested in, it would be 300 pixels per inch. And so now I would get a roughly 25 by 17 inch print. I could go a little smaller than that and make it the size I want, but that's pretty nice to be able to see that. And now we're upsized four times and you could see that photo AI has picked low res for this. Now this would be more like a graphic type image. So I recommend trying the different uh, models here. So there's low resolution. We could click on graphics and wait a few seconds and it updates in. That looks good too. So there's graphics, here's low resolution. But you know what? I think I like graphics better. I'm gonna put it back on graphics. And then it sets you up for the amount of minor de-blur. And you can see uh, Photo AI has chosen a 15 for the minor de-blur. That's basically sharpening the image. Photo AI for minor denoise has given me a value of one. And that is the lowest amount that you can have for denoise. But that looks really good. 
And now at this point, all I need to do is click Save Image. And I use the prefix Photo AI, so I know that's a Photo AI image. And generally, I'll send it back to the original folder. I'm just going to preserve the input format here. You could go ahead and change them whatever format you want here. I'm just going to go ahead and click Save, and it'll save this out. And that is all there is to it. Here's the finished result back from Topaz Photo AI and upsized, ready for printing. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.